People are the purple butterfly here. Otherwise known as people are seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog can be located at purple butterfly dash people dot black spot dot com. And my folks can be located at people dot etsy dot com. And I'm here to do a ladder test of the peppermint overload soap because it just occurred to me I haven't done that yet. So here we go. Oh, this smells amazing. Mmm. And the lather is white. Which, I'm rather surprised that with the amount of color I put in there, I was expecting the lather to be any color. Or many, many colors. All at the same time. But there we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. I might wash it with this soap several times just because of the way it smells. Ooh. And there's a peppermint cream bag. Yay. I do believe I will be washing my face with this. Yep, 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 yep. So, the peppermint overload. Is a success. It has gotten harder. It's still a little soft, so I'm going to leave it on the carrying rack a little bit longer because, well, the amount of water I added, I'm going to basically just treat it like a cold process soap, even though it is hot process and completely ready. But if someone wants to use it, even though it's slightly soft, it's completely safe because. It was hot process, which means all the lye and all the ingredients that could have been harmful has been completely cooked out, which is the purpose of hot process soap. But I still have a cold process look. So, mmm, that feels wonderful. I think I'm going to use this on my feet. Mmm, -hmm. peppermint on feet is a wonderful experience. You should try it. But anyway... This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. Check out my soap, people.etsy.com. The link now says um, Purple Butterfly Soap under the shop section instead of All Natural Soaps. And my blog, of course, is Purple Butterfly.